Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I'm going to answer software testing interview question 140. That is explain V model. Let me answer. V model is one of the SDLC models. There are different SDLC models like waterfall model. Then we have prototyping model, iterative incremental model, spiral model, V model, agile model, rad model and big bang model these are the different sdlc models we have and v model is one of the sdlc models so what exactly is this v model v model is similar to waterfall model but has some differences okay it is similar to v model is similar to waterfall model but with few differences so let me explain uh, more about how water uh, waterfall model and v model are different how v model is different from waterfall model okay uh, let me show you a diagram first how the v sdlc model looks like this is how a v sdlc model looks like it looks in the form of a v shape only okay so these are all the same phases that waterfall model has but the major difference you can observe here is testing is introduced from the beginning phases only if you talk about the waterfall model if you go if you if you know this waterfall model in the waterfall model the testing will come only after the development phase right first requirements gathering and analysis phase will be there in the waterfall model followed by we have the design phase then we have the implementation that is coding phase after that phase only testing will come testing will not start from the beginning of the waterfall model but in terms of in case of v model testing is introduced from the beginning itself all this red color okay red, red color activities are nothing but testing okay all the red color uh, shapes are nothing but the testing that means testing is starting from the starting of this model and here requirements are freezed guys okay so in the beginning only similar to waterfall model requirements are freezed here okay in between the requirements will not be introduced and all so requirements will be gathered and analyzed in the beginning itself beginning of the project itself but not during the project so let me explain more about this uh, v model now so you you see how the testing can be done from the beginning you see without the application is developed okay after the coding only we can start testing right in general but how testing can be done before the coding is completed yes testing can be done in different forms where you can, we can review the review the different activities here you see on the left side of this v model all these activities doesn't have any code or application ready okay so in brs what will be there in brs requirements will be gathered okay brs is nothing but the requirement document right so here requirements will be gathered and analyzed but how the testing will be performed here without running any code it's a static testing guys where the code is not run but a type of testing known as a review will be done okay these documents will be reviewed in different ways there are different type of reviews that can be performed on this brs document to see whether the requirements specified in that particular document are proper or not okay are there any ambiguities in this document or are there any mistakes in this document we are going to test we can test the documents we can without running the code or without uh, uh, testing the application we can check the requirement document and find out the mistakes way before and once the brs document is properly tested then srs document will be created okay technical with technical specifications and all the technical team will come up with a srs document okay so this srs also can be reviewed this document also can be reviewed we will go through uh, the document and find out the mistakes and uh, identify the mistakes in the documents and all then low level high level designs we can also review the low level and high level designs without running the code right all this forms into the static testing okay reviews fall, fall into the static testing and here during the coding phase also the code can be reviewed without running the code we can review the code we can go through the code and find out the mistakes in the code okay how the way the developers have written we can find out the mistakes uh, generally developers also will do the same review process okay but we call that as testing anyhow we will review the code okay without running the code we will verify the code okay there are some tools in the market uh, which can review the code and give us some suggestions okay here simple guys in the v model the testing will start from the beginning so here static testing will be performed before the coding is completed in the form of review so we will review the documents uh, designs and uh, the code that has been written without running the code okay all this will be reviewed that's the reason the testing can be performed from the beginning itself okay by performing this different type of reviews on these documents and code without running the code okay once the code is ready all while the code is being developed or uh, 
some portion of the code is ready, then developers will perform the unit testing and integration testing, okay? Individual units, okay? The entire code will be broken down into individual units uh, where which cannot be broken further, okay? Such kind of uh, small units they will break into and that individual one by one unit they will test, okay? Individually, the units unit, unit pieces of code will be tested as part of unit testing by developers. And after the unit testing is completed, developers will go for integration testing well, where they will group the logically groupable units into different groups and test them as a group. That is integration testing, okay? All the units will be combined uh, logically. Uh, the logically groupable units will be combined together and tested to see whether they are getting integrated properly, I mean, working together properly or not, okay? So there are different type of approaches we follow in integration testing, like top-down integration testing. Our developers will follow top-down integration testing, bottom-up bottom integration testing, sandwich integration testing, and so on, okay? Big Bang integration testing and so on, okay? So then after this integration testing and unit testing are performed by developers, then here in the V model, as you can see, then system testing will be performed. Software testers will be performing the system testing where they will be testing the entire system as a whole. Entire application, they will be tested. The developers will be giving the application URL or exe file of the application to install and test. So entire uh, application will be tested as a whole as part of system testing. Then we have, once the system testing is completed and all the uh, defects like, uh, uh, like whether the application has been developed by developer, according to the given requirements or not is generally okay verified by testers here the main focus of system testing is to see whether the developed application is according to the given requirements or not that is the main focus but uh, at some at some uh, like not only that uh, uh, whether it is according to the user needs and expectations also will be there but less focus will be given to user needs and expectation but once the system testing is completed which is focusing on whether the developed application is developed according to the requirements then it will be released for uat okay then it will be related to UAT where alpha testing, beta testing, all this kind of testing will be performed, okay, by the customers at the developer site and by the real end users in case of beta testing and all in UAT, different type of UAT will be performed like alpha and beta. So as part of that, uh, the customers will be performing this mainly, okay, the testing where the main focus of the testing of UAT will be on the end users needs and expectations, whether the developed application is meeting the end user's needs and expectations or not, okay? The, based on the feedback received from the users, the testing will be performed, okay? Here, more focus is on user needs and expectations before releasing the software into the market. After UAT, after UAT is there and uh, after meeting the user needs and expectations, then the software will be released into the market, okay? So this is what is a V model, guys. Here, testing will start from the beginning, okay? So the main thing that we have to understand about the V model when compared to other SDLC models or waterfall model is, here, testing will start from the beginning of the phases only. That is what is what V model is famous for, okay? V model is known for, okay. So hope guys, uh, you understood uh, what is V model and uh, how to answer this V model. If you get this uh, question in the interviews, that's all for this session. In the next session, I'm going to answer another software testing interview question for you. Till then, see you bye-bye.